Insanity, I am the beast that he's cancel me. Granted, he is handsome, handsome with the bread, but underneath, way under feet, I cannot see the soul. Up in the grease, like the holes in the ozone, up in the heat, like holes in the snow globe. You raise your beast, get froze, check the logo. Hey, H, kill haters, call the docs, patience when I'm stuck in pray surveillance. Watch my patience, take your plate right off the table. Tell them, wait here, waiters waiting in my water. Fishy rappers hit the cadence, is a tip. When I drop down, you know it's time for prayers. Think I need a moment, man, I'm zoned out. All right, three, two, one, let's ball at life. It's got a little bit of like that DJ scratching, sort of that tempo, that pace of like a, a West Coast and old school kind of hip hop vibe. Definitely puts me in like the mood for LA and Tony Hawk right now. Oh, this is the dude. What's his name? What's his name, chat? Because he's a really good rapper. He's got some great flows. Alexander the Great, amazing flow that he did. I can skate better than this church boy, Turd can. Not cash money, it's just Wayne versus Birdman. You got your whole... I can skate better. Dropping the bars already. I'm sad because you know what's amazing about the ERBs is they take like two completely different people. And you're like, how the fuck does this connect? How does this battle make sense? Well, Tony just did it in the first line. Nice Peter coming through. I can skate better in this church boy turd can, right? Turd can, get the play on words like a, a trash can, a turd can, where we're, you know, donating our feces into. But also like can as in you can do it. A little bit of water boy in there. Like those bars. I can skate better than this church boy turd can. Not cash and then obviously the skate. So he is skateboarding. Wayne Gretzky is skating. What do they do in a broader sense? They both skate. They both skate. And then those lines, the Birdman to Wayne lines. Obviously Wayne, Wayne Gretzky, but also Lil Wayne and Birdman and Cash Money, the label. And for those of you who have been living under a rock for like the past decade, I mean, this is one of like the longest standing. Are they beefing? Are they not beefing? I mean, it got so bad. Birdman even had... Wayne's tour bus shot up. Maybe I need to do a live and just explain that whole beef. But, you know, Wayne came up through cash money. But Wayne did put cash money on his back. And when Wayne was, you know, one of the top rappers out there and had all the fame and the glory. Remember, Wayne brought on Drake, Nicki Minaj, and all of them. But he's had a ton of issues behind the scenes with Birdman. And apparently Birdman's just not been giving Wayne his cut, been giving out advances, spending money. There was rumors that Birdman was bankrupt. Man, just crazy complicated relationship because they were like blood man i mean you know they're they're pretty much they're they are family so yeah it's been it's been a hell of a feud and there's been times when they're together their hands are together like you know the feud is squashed and then they'll come back later and they're still dealing with the lawsuit so crazy good lines i love how erb will take the characters and then they'll reference something going on in hip-hop we've seen it happen so many times through erb which is just dope it's just wayne versus bird man you got your whole league to protect him and also tony hawk his nickname, he's Birdman. He's a motherfucking Birdman. He's a hawk. Get it? Oh, my boy's a bird. It's search boy, turd can. Not cash money. It's just Wayne versus Birdman. You got your whole league to protect and adore you. So which goon's gonna take this battle for you? Ooh. You got your whole league to protect and adore you. <clears throat> and that that is true. In hockey, a lot of the really talented players, they don't get involved in the fights. You have certain people that are delegated to getting involved in the fights, right? And certain people protect like the talent, the skill position players, because they don't want to get in a fight and like mess themselves up and then mess up their chance in the game. So Wayne was always protected in the NHL. You know, he was the NHL star boy, just like people complained about MJ and MJ always got the foul calls for him. People complained about Wayne. He always got the penalties called for him. And um, what was the story on the Wayne rule? Wasn't it because they were balling so well when you would have a, a penalty, when it would go down to like 4v4 or 3v3 and... The Oilers, man, and even the Kings, like, they, they would take advantage of the open ice, and they would, like, always score. Like, their conversion percentage was crazy. So they made a Wayne Gretzky rule, literally, that two penalties from opposing teams offset. They negate each other. So you don't go down 4v4 or 3v3. You still keep five on the ice. It was called the Wayne rule. It's crazy, man. I can skate better than this search boy turd can. Not cash money, it's just Wayne versus Birdman. You got your whole league to protect and adore you. So which goon's gonna take this battle for you? Ooh, I'm the dude who blew up extreme sports. That nose looks like you've seen some extreme snores. Look at that. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Cocaine bars. Tony Montana in the house. I love, I love some of the low blows right here. Right. So obviously, because Wayne Gretzky does have a pretty prominent nose 
It's very, very strong. Big nose, snorting up things. I'm the dude who blew up extreme sports. That nose looks like you've seen some extreme snoring. I mean, look at that thing. That slope is gigantic. Wait. Let's shout out some people real quick. Hi, DR Knox. Sorry I'm late. I was busy baking cookies for all the subscribers. Well, did you save chocolate chip for everyone? And you guys are telling me Zach, it's Zach Sherwin. That's his name. Zach Sherwin. I wouldn't fly off a ramp that high. And all the ice underneath you will get melted into water. When I hit you with a trick, it's even high. All right, hang on. People are saying, Knox, your voice is low compared to the video. I got you. I got you, people. Don't worry. That's what we're here for. All right, I turned it down a little bit. Hopefully that's just a better space. And your daughter, you're old and you're basic, your talent is vain. Oiler alert, you're about to get traded. Wow, hang on. Look at that thing. That slope is gigantic. Even I wouldn't fly off a ramp that titanium. Now the ice underneath you will get melted into water. When I hit you with a trick, it's even hotter than your daughter. Why do we have to bring his daughter into this? Wayne Gretzky does have a very hot daughter. So, obviously, we're bringing out the daughter bars. Uh, the Titanic, we get it, like the ice. The Titanic hit a glacier and melted. And then, of course, Wayne Gretzky skating on ice. Hockey's on ice. But he's, like, spitting so hot that he basically melt the ice underneath of you. Pretty uh, pretty complicated scheme, man. But I love the delivery and the swagger on it. Titanic, all the ice underneath you will get melted into water. When I hit you with a trick, it's even hotter than your daughter. You're old and you're basic. Your talent is basic. And obviously, when he talked about his nose and a ramp, like, I wouldn't go off a ramp like that. Oiler alert, you're about to get traded. Oiler alert, you're about to get traded. Like, spoiler alert. Except, the big story of Wayne Gretzky when he was playing with the Edmonton Oilers because Wayne Gretzky is Canadian. So, he was playing up in Edmonton. And, I mean, before Edmonton joined the NHL, Gretzky was with him. They joined the NHL. And then, what was it? Did they win two or three Stanley Cups? I can't remember. Basically, he balled out. But after they won the Stanley Cup, literally hours later, he got traded. And it became known in sports as a trade. I remember watching, what was it? It was an ESPN 30 for 30. I think it was called the King's Ransom. Yeah, it was the King's Ransom. Very interesting about that whole trade and the build-up to it and the lead-up to it. So get it, Euler alert, and him being traded, him being swapped out. I mean, because that's still, I mean, then he was called a traitor by... The Canadian press and media, and then he left Canada, he went to L.A., but the, the thing that happened, which is interesting, oh, this is a connection between him and Tony, too, because just like Tony, like, brought skating and extreme sports, like, to the forefront of the public, you know, being out in Hollywood and, uh, you know, being a California kid and all that, Wayne Gretzky, when he went out to L.A., like, he really put on for hockey. Like, that's when people started to get really interested in hockey. And he brought in a more general audience, not like the diehard hockey fans. So they both kind of, being out in Cali, put on for their respective sports and being the greats at their sports during their respective time periods. Interesting connection that I'm just making. Maybe I'm going off on too many random connections, but that's what we do on this channel. We pause a lot. We pause a lot on this one. Hey, Rogelio Garcia. Hey, I'm a big fan, Knox, and I agree. Please react to Daddy Fat Snap soon. Okay. Okay. We could definitely do that. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. Hey, Sudika, you should check out Demon to a Ghost, my fave. Ooh, looks interesting. All right, well, shout out more. Let's keep rolling with this. Where did my volume go? Why are things always happening to me in life right now? Wow. It is a cursed stream today, isn't it? Did you curse our stream? Just because you didn't pay rent again... I'm going to kick your ass out if you curse our stream. All right. Mike is forward. That is back. Let's do a test. <clears throat> Thank you guys, by the way. Everyone who is somehow still here, it's unfucking believable that over 1,300 people are still here in chat just watching me be an idiot right now. Like, this is why I love you guys, and this is why I love this community. It works, yes? It's all good? It's all good. Let's go. Let's go. I don't care how sick I am right now. Let's fucking go. That is championships. There's championship weather today, people. David Box has just donated 666. David, you stop it now. You, were, you have cursed this stream enough, you heathens. All right, let's go. You're old and you're basic. That's rich because Tony is getting on in years now, too, but... Gretzky is definitely older. Your talent is faded. Like a a 
Ooh. I like these flows from Nice Peter, man. I drop rhymes like I'm dropping into a half pipe. Hey, Tony would always drop into that half pipe ball out, man. Hit you like a hash pipe. And I take that as a play on a half pipe, like a skater's half pipe, but also like smoke you, smoking you on that hash pipe, hitting that hashish. Keep your mittens on Gretzky, you're too clean. That's clever, and we'll explain the, the deeper one of that first. The, the mittens, I take that as like oven mittens. You're too clean. Like, right? Old school uh, misogyny lines right there. Like, your ass belongs in the kitchen, bitch. That's basically what he's saying to Gretzky right now. But also, Gretzky, like we talked about, he wasn't an enforcer. His job was to be a skill position player. His job wasn't to fight. So he would never be caught taking his gloves off in hockey, which you do. Throw the gloves off and, you know, come in with some of those jabs. That's how it goes down. What? You're too clean. I got this covered like gravy on I got this covered like gravy on poutine. Have you guys had poutine before? Shout out to my Canadians watching right now. Uh, basically, it's just an excuse to dip french fries in gravy pretty much, isn't it? You get like the thick fries, you get the gravy, and you get the cheese curds, and bam, you have poutine. Now, those of you who don't know that Knox played soccer, some semi-professionally, some professionally, when I was up in Toronto playing, I remember having a... Uh, a night where I had one too many H2Os, if you know what I mean. And I just staggered into like this sort of, uh, you know, 3 a.m. poutine place, like going into like a, you know, pizza slice place at 3 a.m. But they had all kinds of shit they put on their poutines. Like I thought it was just gravy and cheese curds, but man, they had like bacon and sausages and buffalo strips and just everything. Yeah, it was wild. That poutine place was delicious. And the thing was, it was one of those places where I could never find it again. Never ever found it again. And it was like having food with the gods in Mount Olympus. It was that delicious. Or maybe I had had one too many H2Os. I don't remember. Is he talking? Is he trying to talk with a Canadian accent? Damn, Tony. He is. He is. That's funny. I take that. I don't know why I'm thinking like Tony the Tiger right now. They're great. So Zambonis in between periods, they'd always smooth out the ice. So he's like, damn, that was rough because basically the skates make the ice rough and then you smooth it out. So I love that just casual scheme talking about his rhymes. Your rhymes are rough. Let me smooth them out like a Zamboni. That's dope. So let me smooth it out like I'm a damn Zamboni. I'm the greatest ever when I play hockey, but on the microphone, I don't play hockey. <laughs> I don't play. See, he bends, slant rhymes, the hockey, hockey, the way a Canadian would say hockey. All right. Okay. All right. Nothing nothing too over the top right now, but I like it. 321 Yerva <clears throat> donated 888. Hey, I love, I love the even schemes. I'm an even guy. I have like a little bit of OCD, right? I don't like numbers ending in odds for whatever reason. And oh my God, why did I just say that on chat? I've just fucked the rest of the donations for today. All right, let's keep rolling. We'll break down more, then we'll shout more of you guys out. Comment down below right now your favorite Street Fighter character. I love the Street Fighter shout out. Like, see how he throws it. Watch this, watch this, watch this. I love that. He throws his stick down. He actually throws his gloves down because he's been called out now for being a little bitch. So he's ready to fight to get into the ring, basically. And it's like a street fight. And he calls out T-Hawk, one of my favorite Street Fighter characters. That's a dope line, man. And obviously T-Hawk for Tony Hawk. Nice. Hey, Akuma was dope, too. Akuma was dope as well. Sad ears said Chun Li. Okay. If you don't, then you catch a slap shot to the deck, like the deck of a skateboard, also to the deck, like to your head. And a slap shot is the hardest form of a shot in hockey. That is a power shot for those of you who don't play hockey or don't know about it. And honestly, if you guys are like, oh, Knox knows too much. No, Knox grew up in a sports family. Knox loves sports. And while I don't watch hockey regular season a lot of the time, I love playoff sports. I love watching playoff sports live. 
I love the pressure, the intensity, how anything can happen live. And always, even as a kid, me and my pops would have playoff hockey on. We always watched it. And thank God in recent years, the Caps are actually good for once and we have someone to root for and support. But yeah. I take a flyer down, bird. You're getting wrecked. That's a Philadelphia Flyers reference. And obviously he's wearing the Edmonton Oilers jersey. And didn't they beat they beat the Flyers in the Stanley Cup? Like he was like a Flyers killer, man, when the Flyers were really flying high. Wayne Gretzky was like the bane of their existence. So I really like that line. Flyer down like a bird flying. Bird, as in again, Tony Hawk. See how he's trolling him with that. God, I, I got to remember to like stand here so I can be on the right part of the screen. Actually, maybe I can move donations over. You know, we've messed with, we've messed with uh, the stream settings enough today, so we might as well just keep messing with it. Hang on. Take a flyer down, bird. You're getting wrecked. So a flyer, like a plane as well. Wow, that's a really good triple for him. That's the best line that Sherwin has dropped so far. And prepare for arrival, like a plane preparing for landing, right? Cabin crew, please prepare cabin for arrival. And then obviously cross check, like checking your seatbelts, double check that. But then in hockey, when you take your stick and you cross check him, which is a penalty, just fucking smash him into the boards. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, let me tell you what putting a puck in the net is worth double. Hang on. Double what you banked. So I wonder how much uh, Gretzky's net worth is compared to Hawks, but that's a nice little flex right there. He's like, hey, you want to brag about, you know, rolling around on a skateboard? I'm the one who's truly getting paid here. And I believe that with the sponsorships. I mean, remember, Wayne Gretzky is like the, the Michael Jordan of hockey people. He is one of the greats. Bars. Bars. I wish I could show more excitement, but my voice is killing me. That's a great... That's the, that's my favorite fucking bar so far. That's that's money. All right, first off... Definitely the Canadian accent because instead of saying about, he said a boot, a boot, a, a boot. However, he, he put on the Canadian accent. We got that. Talk about the the X Games. Tony Hawk being in the X Games. Tony Hawk has also had multiple wives now. He's gone through quite a few divorces. Talk about the X, having an X, the X Games. That's a, that is a great bar from Sherwin right there. My favorite bar of the battle so far, I'd have to say. Hey, Reese Taylor, let's give some shout outs real quick too. Let, let me drink more water. And pop another uh, cough drop. Because <clears throat> I feel the throat starting to go. Bam. All right. Reese Taylor, can we react to Stray Kids' song, We Go? Definitely more Stray Kids coming to the channel, man. Thanks so much for the Super Chat donation. Jeff Matina, live's been a chaos experiment. That's my theory. Those are chaos theory bars, good sir. Those are chaos theory bars. Who else we shouting out? Adam Knuth. You should react to Gandhi versus MLK Jr. Mods, please make note of all the recommendations that come in through the Super Chats. Jimmy is a geek. Wayne's jersey says oil ERB. Does it? Oh my God, it does. Oh, how good is that? That we had it paused. What a great moment. Thanks for pointing that out, Jimmy. That's clever as hell, man. Honestly, the eye just naturally looked at it and thought Oilers. But yeah, it definitely says Oiler ERB. That's so cool. David Box is now getting sexual with his donations. Um, 469 in the box. Cool Skater 88. Anything can happen live. Obviously, look at the stream. <laughs> well, that is true. That is true. That is facts, people. Jack Sullier. I'm more of a Mortal Kombat guy. Melina is my fave. Ooh, okay. Okay. Thanks for sharing, Jack. And thanks for the donation, homie. Shroom. Tony's net worth 140 mil. Wayne is 200 mil. Wow. Yeah, so he's almost double. He's not quite there. But, okay, I like the flex. I like the flex, though. No. 
No, I like that moment of him hitting that 900 was so iconic to me. And um, then there was like this little 12 year old kid that Red Bull put him on like a fucking massive vert ramp, right? And went flying. Of course, of course, you're gonna be able to get more fucking spins and land it when you're on a massive ass ramp. I mean, Tony Hawk did it on a regular ramp in the middle of fucking competition. Like, get out of here with that. I hate that. It's probably because of my Tony Hawk bias, but it is still a nice little disc that he's using. And obviously the big trick that might go overlooked besides the trick of doing that. Also the trick of uh, like he's talking about the wife and the X games. Like one big trick when you talk a female, you, you call a female a trick. Nice little double right there. That's just rude. So he shouts out the 900. Hop on this. And rotate 900 degrees. You know, you can sit on this and spin around for a while. Oh, you like finger flips. Right? So, like, skating flips. Also, why am I thinking about, like, the little skateboards? Remember those that you could, like, roll with on your fingers and they try to promote those? You do tricks on your fingers. Obviously, the, the finger flip. And wait, what just happened? Look at that clothing change. That was a really cool graphic. He was in his normal clothes, and then he went into Tony Hawk skater mode. Is that a transition in Pro Skater? I can't remember. Watch this. That's cool. That's cool. If you having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. So basically, he just called uh, Wayne a bitch there. And then... uh. Shouts out Jay-Z, but bonus points to chat right now. If you can tell me who originated the I Got 99 Problems with a Bitch A1, because it wasn't Jay-Z, even though he's known for the same. Your threats are like my swimming pools because, yeah, especially in the 90s, man, with the heavy rock scene. Good Charlotte, Blink-182, skateboarding in an empty swimming pool. Yeah, the nostalgia is real right there. And then the mullet. He shouts him out for having a mullet and goes after him for that. And, uh, yeah, the, the mullet look was definitely a typical look back then. Terrible style choice, but it was it was in, technically. Hey, Carl Lee said iced tea. You get points, Carl Lee. Skip the kick flick, submit to twist was it a kick flip mick twist no it was a mick twist kick flip i can't remember but the one with the mick twist name in it tony hawk actually invented that trick so i like that let's let's skip with all all the little tricks that you're doing right now let's just get real We're getting grammar bars in here speechless after three periods because the game of hockey is quantified via a period three periods total in a single game of hockey so i really love that double right there the three periods for hockey but also dot 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 three periods like not saying anything or replacing a word ellipsis grammar teaching today this is a good flow too i haven't even talked about flows i'm just my mind's all gone Let's skip the kick flips and mick twists. Hear that just internal scheme that just pushes the pace a little bit? I like that. We you know we like those around here. You know we like those around here. Sorry about the deke joke. Get it? Deke, like when you faint, when you faint in hockey. The deke faking the shot. <clears throat> Shout out to Mighty Ducks for knowing that one. That's how I know that one. Damn, voice is going. <clears throat> also, on your knees, like get on your knees. Come on, ERB, we have to have the dick jokes, don't we? So instead of getting on your knees, he said get on your knee pads because Tony Hawk skaters wear the knee pads and the elbow pads to protect themselves. <clears throat> Come on, voice. Goofy footed. When you ride goofy footed, instead of going left foot forward, you basically go right foot forward. You go switch foot forward. It's called Goofy Footed. Tony Hawk used to skate Goofy Footed. Also, he's calling him Goofy. Good bars. Three 
You put that in the top shelf of lame rhymes, like hockey, when you're scoring it in the top shelf, like you go top net with it. Okay, okay. We like that one. We like that one. I use some triple force while you prance around in four pound diaper shorts. We like those. We like those around here because hockey, yeah, they, 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 they wear a lot of gear. They definitely have a lot of gear and pads that they wear. But shit, man, I remember back in the day when they didn't wear, like, fucking helmets, right? Now, that was some OG stuff. Just as I talk about Mighty Ducks, we get a Mighty Ducks set up right there. <clears throat> but the team's Mighty Suck. And yeah, one of the complaints about hockey, the puck is so small, it just moves so quickly. I mean, even when you're there live trying to watch a game, sometimes it is hard to keep up with the puck. So I get that complaint. We like that one. And then obviously the Mighty Ducks. And fun fact about the Anaheim Ducks is that they used to be called the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. And that was because of the success of the Mighty Ducks movies. And if you've never, ever seen Mighty Ducks, do yourselves a favor this evening after you get off the amazing Knox livestream that has had zero errors and issues and has been absolutely fucking flawless. And then go watch the Mighty Ducks. Recommended. Watch all of them. One, two, and three, baby. It happens. That 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 was one of the best bars of the battle. That's amazing. Put more souls into skating. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. <clears throat> Put souls into skating. Vans are known famously as skateboard shoes. A lot of skaters wear vans, so put more souls into skating, but also like souls, S-O-U-L-S. That was a great double from Tony Hawk. And actually a very inspirational line too. I love when you can take like a deeper, more thoughtful line, use it as a punchline and use it as a diss. Wow, amazing, amazing bar from Tony Hawk. One of the, one of the best bars of the whole battle. That's awesome. Tony Mo, I, I was kind of like British. What was that? But again, I love how he's pulling out the Canadian accent. That was baseball, but it doesn't matter. He knocked that one out the park. That's great. I mean, he even had me on the line too, and I was just I was reading ahead, but <clears throat> I had 183. You know, you're like, oh, that's cool, 184. Like you guys have split a lot. You've, you've done a lot in your lifetime. And he's like, uh, actually, you've only had one, and I've done the other 183. That now that is a flex. That is a flex. <laughs> Who is that? Bruins? Who the hell is that wearing a Bruins? I feel like that's a famous hockey image, but I don't know the story in the background of that one. And you've been going downhill since Pro Skater 3. Why you gotta do Tony like that, bro? We all know Pro Skater 3 was the best of the Hawk franchise, and nothing has matched that. That is a dope line. You guys are saying Bobby Orr. All right, now tell me the story about Bobby Orr, please, chat. He saved his best bar for the last. That was a really good bar. For true sports fans. Hang on. I love how it's a instead of a mic drop, he takes his hockey stick and just drops it, right? Signaling the mic drop like the end of the battle. And yeah, you, you could say that. Like if you love true sports, 
true team sports, you know, hockey, baseball, basketball, football, you don't have extreme sports on there because that's a solo act. It's extreme. It's different. It's one off. People would argue, no, the, the true talent and the athletes, yeah, they're in those, in those true sports. So, I mean, Wayne Gretzky is a great, but to be fair, to be fair to Tony Hawk, and I talked about this anecdotally before, you know, he got me into the X Games. I mean, what he did for skateboarding and bringing attention to it, he was, he was definitely a pioneer. I mean, don't get me wrong. Gretzky, absolute legend. One of the greats. One of the greats of all time. But Tony Hawk was a true pioneer for the, the sport of skateboarding. That's for sure. I do like this beat. We're just going to let this beat play because we always let it play. <clears throat> wow. Somehow, somehow I survived that amidst stream breaking on me completely, amidst me still being ill, trying to survive all this myself, and... I feel like we did a pretty good job breaking that down, chat. How do you how do you feel about that? Can I come around a little bit this way now? Instead of standing profile? I don't know how the hell I'm gonna edit that. There are no accidents, only adventures. That's a great quote. <clears throat> Alright, listen guys. Listen. I'm gonna say what I always say to sign off. Take care of yourselves. <laughs> Take care of your health. I need that. I got to give my wife a huge shout out. Without her, none of this happens. None of this works because she watches my twin daughters while I'm here doing this with you guys. Shout out to her. Always having my back. Shout out to Scott. Help me with setup. Helping me with so many things that go on behind the scenes. Um, yeah, and shout out to you guys. Listen, the world is crazy right now. A lot of places with a lot of controversy, a lot of question marks. And it's easy. It's easy to get down and then... Not even realize that you're going down until you're way, way down in the hole. But no matter how bad it is for you, just remember, you are never, ever alone. That's so important. I want you guys, if you walk away with nothing else from these streams or my reactions, just know you are never truly alone. Please, never forget that. There's always someone out there who can relate. Someone out there who can empathize with what you're going through and who wants to help you. And I always say it, find a way. Find a way to keep going. Take the little steps, even if you feel like you're not progressing, you're not getting anywhere, because those little steps and those small accomplishments start to add up over time. And at the end of it, you realize you've gotten a lot further than you thought. Take care of yourselves. Love one another. Don't forget what truly matters in this world. Family, friendship, loyalty, all those things. The money, the fame, those things, they come and go. They come and go. Ian Riker, Metro Detroit. Much love to you, Ian. Thanks for the final Super Chat donation, I think. I love you guys. Stay safe and take care of yourselves.